Good evening, everyone. My name is Emmanuel, and welcome to the channel again. If this is your first time watching our video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, in today's video, I'll be talking about how to build in Nigeria. And there are a lot of people they want to build houses. They are not sure where to start from. Do I start from the construction, design, land acquisition? Where exactly do I start? They're a bit confused and naive. So in this video, um, just to simplify the process, we are breaking it down into 10 stages of how to build your house here in Nigeria. So keep watching and I believe by the end of this video, you'll be able to know what I mean. So in today's video, we'll be talking about how to build a house in Nigeria or how to build in Nigeria. There are many steps involved in the construction of homes here in Nigeria. And in these videos, I'll be talking you through the steps involved. Um, so I'll be looking at um, my note here, um, just in case I'm looking away. Um, I've noted down some steps um, for you that will help you in the process. So how to build your house in Nigeria? The first step will be um, land acquisition. Yeah, I believe this is an obvious one. Um, the first thing you need to do when um, building in Nigeria is to acquire the land. Um, this land acquisition, um, it could be a land you have to buy with your money. It could be inherited land. It could be um, a land allocated to you as a form of like a gift or you know from business or any way you get the land but um, if you are buying the land you have to make sure you are buying from a reliable real estate company um, in Nigeria because um, you know this is a tricky part um, when investing or when building in Nigeria because um, the land acquisition is the foundation of the home construction so make sure you do your due diligence um i'll probably come up with an update on this stage um i think it should be a video on its own but yeah you should buy your land and one thing you have to know when buying your land you have to know and make sure that the land or the area is secure it has security it's a place that it's livable it's got amenities like um, a market close by hospital close by and other things that's needed in the running of the home, in general functioning of the home. Basically, it's a, a neighborhood, basically. So um, this is a, the first step in constructing your home here in Nigeria. And then the second step will be the planning and the budgeting. And because it's very important you plan um, this stage in building your house, the second stage is the planning and budgeting. You have to know how much you have in your account or how much you are willing to invest you know the land i believe it's a long-term investment when you're building whether it's you're going to be your own house that's going to save you money or a house for investment purposes so you have to budget um, you don't want to have the money for a bungalow and you start building a duplex or you know those sort of things basically because it's a huge financial commitment you have to plan okay i'm looking to put is it 5 million 10 million 20 million in 5 million you have to know how much you have um, and this will determine you know the type of building you're going to construct because this is very important because when you design a very complex or a luxurious house and the finance haven't been taught through this could you know bring problem in future where Maybe you run out of cash or something like that. So this is very important. You plan and say, okay, how much is um, needed to build a house? When you have a chat with your architect or engineer, um, this part is sort of like conversation um, stage or probably consultation stage. They'll give you a rough idea and I believe this should be for free. So this is very important. The third stage, when you've come up with... Um, you know the planning when you are done with the planning and budgeting the test stage is to consult an architectural firm 
or an engineering firm or an architect to design your house and this stage is very very important because this is where you know the building is conceived even though you haven't built the house yet this stage is where you know the whole is more like you're building the house but on paper like imaginative and um, building of the house if i kind of make sense so this stage you're sort of like everything you need to be in the house needs to be done in this stage so you have to consult you know the engineering firm or the design firm it could be a design and build firm it could be an architect it could be an engineering firm a design and build so everything you need to be in the house needs to be um taken into consideration in this stage if you want to have a swimming pool if you want to have you know a study room if you want to have two lounges in your house that are two parlor if you want to have um 10 rooms 20 rooms 30 rooms and this is just an example basically and so everything you need in your house if you want to have a carport if you want to have um a penthouse if you want to have you know anything you desire should be in this stage and this stage is very important you consult a professional because i believe in this stage you have a vague idea of what you actually want you don't really you might not know exactly what you want but when you come to us and be like okay i want a four bedroom bungalow i want a three bedroom bungalow i want this i want that and then with experience and since this is our profession we sort of like fine tune that idea okay you want this we know how to utilize the land because you might have one four bedroom and your land it needs to be you know thought through how to design the building to fit your building in that land and still have you know extra space for your building or for your house basically so at this stage make sure you consult a professional because every detail here is more like you've already started building the house or you're building it on paper or you are building it conceptually so that that way when you come in the build process there won't be any mistake because all the mistakes all the iterations the back and forth has been done in this stage so consult an architect uh, or an engineering firm or a design and build firm and they would come up with a design for you first of all this stage starts with a conceptual design where they design on paper and then they show you okay look at how the building is going to look like in accordance to what you want um because the client at the end of the day is king in the project um we are sort of like consulting having a consultation with you to know what you want to find your needs and obviously solve that need so this stage is very important and this stage the budgeting would be put in consideration because if you design a house in this stage that is extremely large or extremely luxurious definitely it's going to take a toll on the finances so make sure you communicate with your your design team what budget you have in place for the building so that a design a bespoke design can be made that won't overrun or overshoot the budget also this stage might include other um parties or other professions or other disciplines like structural engineer electrical engineer um, mechanical engineer so mechanical engineer basically does the plumbing design this is important if your building is a complex building like a hotel or a multi-story building two-story three-story it's important for you to have an electrical design that's going to show the connection of okay how all the pipings and conduct um wiring goes across rooms and it's going to show where you're going to have your distribution box and everything basically maybe inverter room so it's important you know um all these things are taken into consideration but basically your design firm should be able to sort out all these um problems and all this party they will carry them along some might be some subcontracted some might have in-house professionals to do this for you for you so the fourth stage now will be um costing um you could hire a quantity surveyor to come out with a quote or you know he could tell you how many blocks precisely to the nearest estimate how many blocks you need for the building or you know 
the amount of um, paint you need, the quantity of the sharp sand, the chippings. He's going to quantify the project for you. And in that way, he can come up with the costing for material. Alternatively, your contractor could do this for you. Tell him to come up with a quote, um, each stage of the project, how much it's going to cost um, material-wise, labor-wise, and the, um, you know, he will quantify it for you. Um, this could be done by your contractor. Just tell him, okay, how much is it going to take to get us to the lintel level? How much is it going to take to get up to the roofing level? How much for uh, you know the whole building structure? He'll be able to quantify it for you. So this stage will help you also with you know cash flow and budgeting as well because it's important for you to you know get this right um, before you start. And also, if this is done by a neutral party or by your design team. It could help you in the bidding process. So when you do this, then you can now come invite different contractors, okay, and say, okay, or if you have a contractor in mind and you show them, okay, this is, um, you know, the amount of work, you've quantified the work. Okay, how much are you going to do the work or how much are, is it going to cost you to construct? So then the fifth stage will be approval. Once all the designs are done, you need to take it to your local authority to approve and have their stamp on it. If you don't do this, um, they could probably turn up at your site and they could stop work. They have the power and the legislation to do that. So make sure you are fine with the authorities. The authorities are fine with you. Make sure they've approved your building plan. And basically, it's just to make sure that everything is all right and, um, you know, you are together. This obviously comes with some fee of recommend budgeting a percentage. In different states, the approval fees are different. Some you might need to go through local government and progress to state government. But um, just know that this is an important stage that is required in your home construction journey. The sixth stage will be to hire a contractor. Um, this stage is very important as well. It's very important you hire a professional. Uh, civil engineering, construction firm, design and build firm. I have a reputation for constructing similar type of project. And you don't want to give, um, you know, a non-professional your project to manage because at the end of the day, you might, be try, you might be trying to save cost. And at the end of the day, on the long run, you know, you compromise maybe quality or the time. And that is no good. Um, it's basically penny wise, um, pounds foolish. So basically, hire a contractor in this stage. This is the sixth stage where you hire a contractor. I have a reputation for delivering quality and on time and to budget. So this way is going to help your project to run seamlessly and you will be rest assured that your project is on the hands of qualified professionals. The seven stages. Um, buying of material, you need to make sure that the contractor has all the materials required to do the project. Or you could also, in some cases, this is subcontracted as well, or done as a contract for the contractor to buy the materials as well. So it's up to um, you and the arrangement you make with your contractor. But just uh, make sure you speak with your contractor because in some cases, it's very important, you know, that the right materials are bought because the contractor probably have more experience than you in terms of you know the right material because you don't want to go and buy the timbers that are you know no good timbers that are defective that are not straight you don't want to buy um instead of buying gravel you buy maybe um rocks with sands and things like that so make sure you consult with your contractor in this seven stage which is the purchasing of material he might as well go to the market with you. In this stage, the contractor might um, recommend going to the market with you so you don't um, get cheated. And also just to make sure that you buy the right materials needed to do the job. Um, the eighth stage is um, the actual construction, where construction begin. You know, from the, from the site clearing, setting out, securing the building, and progressing into excavation, um, you know, casting of the foundation. Um, basically, that's um, stage one, sub stage one. Then, German floor should be a second milestone. Um, the lintel should be a third milestone.
fourth milestone should be the roof beam and um, the fifth milestone should be the roofing so depending on how you work it out with your contractor you have a milestone so that way you make sure you are hitting your targets and on time um, basically everything is done in this stage progressing into the um, interior works which includes um, plumbing electrical works and burglaries and then um, finally painting we should mark you know a conclusion of the project possibly landscaping as well then your ninth stage um, as well is the monitoring of the process and having meetings upon meetings is just to make sure everyone is on the same page in terms of the hitting the milestone and you know working within time and budget so basically the 10 stages finishing up your house and handing over so basically believe all everything going well um, you should finish your house and handover should um, commence basically your some documents might be handed over over to you and um, this will help with maintenance maybe as built um, drawings this is a drawing showing what exactly have been constructed this will help you in future maintenance or future modification of the building um, when you have as built drawing it's going to show okay maybe all the electrical works this is how the house was wired this is how the pillars um, the positioning of all the pillars in case you need to do a major modification of the building you know okay i have the pillars here and here in the building this is where to touch this is where not to touch and it will help you that way you know um, how your building is positioned and i believe um, everything going well your building should be up and ready by this stage thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you very much i remain emmanuel your civil engineer